What did she do to, to get locked up in the first place? She killed her kids. She killed the kid? No. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So that woman that you beat up, Fuck her. what did she do to, to get locked up in the first place? She killed her kids. She killed the kid? No. And you fighting her? She killed, how many kids what did she hell? kill? You thought I was gonna let the baby kill her say some shit to me? <laughs> She killed you know, the, ain't the baby. She threw one of the motherfuckers from a car like it was a football. God, how Sunday. many kids did she have? Um, she had three, but I, she killed two. But she crazy. The bitch ain't crazy. You beat a baby. Anybody who gonna kill her kill her own the kids? The bitch didn't kill me, but she killed her kids. <laughs> Let that sink in. She not crazy. Damn. Babies can't fight back, bitch. I can. I will beat you the fuck up. Wow. So mm. I had that something I thought about when you said. They, when they go to the hole, do they come back to the same cell or no? Absolutely not. But since I had beat that bitch up, let me talk about this. <laughs> since I beat that bitch up, listen, she was a, a menace to the whole compound. She had accumulated like an extra 25 years just off of assaults on COs. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So when uh, when I whooped her ass, like she was trying to get me, uh, she was trying to get a, a, a compound separation. She was trying to get me sent somewhere else. The fuck, when I say I met everybody, every head from the warden on down, all lieutenants, sergeants, I met all staff members. When they took me for my hearing, because you have to do a hearing, you know, they got to tell you what you charge with and all this other shit. When I went up in there, a motherfucker asked me, what kind of coffee you drink? What kind of donuts you eat? Man, you don't get no damn donuts in prison. <laughs> You know, you live in the stand. I say I don't drink coffee. You know, I don't want no donuts. <laughs> Motherfuckers tell me, I'm listen, I'm listen. We're thankful. Wow. You know what I'm saying the warden told me, said you good as long as you on this compound, whatever you want. Sergeants, they gave me when I was in the hole. They gave me a two tray order. Meaning I get two trays. You know what I'm saying? Every meal I get two trays. I had my way. When I got up out of the hole, they sent me back to the same cell. They gave me all my contraband. They when I say I had my entire way my entire way my whole stay my entire wherever i wanted to go they let me co staff members when i fuck with me i was carrying contraband i had all type of shit i i was transferring dicks from one pod to another <laughs> for other people i had my I way i gotta ask you something like when it come down to me in prison they used to degrade them by making them whether it be stand naked in the yard or shave their face or Things they did to degrade them. What what things did they do to degrade women, like the guards, when they trying to make them look bad in front of others? Um, you, no guards ain't do shit. They ignore your ass, put you up in there. Um, well, I had an incident in the yard. It was this dude named Baker, C.O. Okay. Baker. I don't know if he worked or not, but he two things. He had the blacks, or well, three things. He had the blacks, he had the gay people, um, and he hated women. Okay. That's why I don't know why his bitch ass was working in a fucking women's prison anyway. You know what I'm saying? You coming over here trying to bully somebody. You go outside in the world, dudes really whooping your ass. You a pussy. Wow. How'd it go? Um, he lied. Me and the chick I was dealing with, we was on the um, yard. This is after I got out the hole. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, the chick I was dealing with, they couldn't stand her. You know, they really hated it. They hated her and they hated the fact that I was with her because she just she just didn't deserve me. It just was. And you know, I had my way. I had free will and she was trying to use that shit to her advantage. Long yeah. story short, it was, I used to wear my Kimar. So the uh, Kimar is white and it's like little red bugs used to, I look like a light bulb, you know what I'm saying? Like a fucking light bulb. But the, um, she was getting the bugs off my Kimar. You know, and uh, the CO seen her and told her to cuff up and told her, you know, said she assaulted me. She had slapped me. And I had to tell her, I said, I just got got out the hole for beating the bitch on her shoes and clothes. You think I'm finna let this bitch slap? Now, I done bought her up on this yard before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I done stolen her a few times on this yard. You think I'm finna let her slap me? That don't even make sense. Make it make sense. So what he did was anytime you get assaulted or they say you get assaulted, you have to go to the infirmary. Now, at this point in time, I was on my cycle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when you get assaulted, you have to go to the infirmary. You have to strip naked. You have to take off everything. They have to take pictures of you front, back, side to side, mm. hands, feet, everything. Because, because they have to have a, a a record of your injuries, if there are any injuries. You know, they have to cover their ass. And now they standing there recording me. I'm asshole naked and I'm bleeding. That was his way. Oh, I went and filed all type of charges on wow. his Wow, so that's how they, they do certain little things. Because there's always something there where they try to yeah, do because, something to yeah. make you feel like, okay, discredit you. Because I always to. wonder, um, with um, a female prison, do you feel like men should be working at a female prison? 
Hell, why not? <laughs> Where we gonna get dick from? No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not everybody on phone now. <laughs> we need something. Look at, I don't want to look at no bitch all day. I got a bitch as a Sally. You know what I'm saying? I want to look at a man. Shit, I want to look. I want to. I want to. When he walk past, I want to look at a man. <laughs> I look good on the outside. <laughs> I want to. I want to see something. Yeah, I mean, but you need. Um, at this point in time, you got women that's transitioning to men and shit. So you got females up in there that really that have beards and muscles. And you need men up in there. You know, because them, them, them shots make motherfuckers go crazy. Strong. Yeah, they you, strong as hell. No, because the reason the reason why I actually because you have I've had males who come sit down right here who have been in prison and have females who are guards and I don't know if this was every prison but they said that um, because females were working there they wouldn't allow them to have female pictures like all up in their cell and stuff like that because the female guards would get offended because you know naked pictures and all that stuff so all that drama so that's the reason why I was asking. Here's the thing. I, I, this is real. I feel like a lot of people that become CEOs are um, not everybody but a lot of them are bitches in real life. You know, so they can't control the certain battles and shit that go on outside. They they are afraid to fight it. They just think they're up here. You got to you got to realize prisoners are still people. I don't give a fuck what they did. They're still people. So people who look down on people like to go to the to the prisons and, you know, and, and boss them around. They can't run shit else in their life, but they like to go up in there and try to take out their frustration mm -hmm. and their anger and shit like that. That's why you see a lot of COs or some COs. Um, like they killed one of the CEOs when I was locked up. Really? They kicked his ass, stomped his ass to death with them Timberland boots. You know, like you, you, motherfucker, I'm up in here. A lot of people up in there for murder and shit. You done brought your soft ass up in here talking shit just because I'm behind this cell. When you pop these doors, same rules for you. I'm gonna come out here and get right on your ass. You start trying to fight and you come on this unit by yourself, I'm gonna stomp your ass out. Did it's just any, what any it of those is. girls take and throw pee? Period, blood, pee, and Oh, in the wait face. a minute, goddamn Yeah, it. yeah, let's talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. Talk about I know that. I get to the story over here on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, a couple yeah. of <laughs> Now, when I was locked up in the county, right? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I was locked up. I was in prison. I was in prison with this one. I was in the county. It don't even matter. But it was this big bitch, like a bell. She was shaped like a bell. White bitch, <laughs> tiny head. Her body was like the, the state puff marshmallow man with the little head. Her hands was little dial hands. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The bitch was strong, retarded strong, Arr, strong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, this bitch stripped asshole naked. One time she stripped oh, no. out. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? And she was in there. She was flooding the toilet, all this other shit. Strip asshole naked. They had to cut her back, uh, take her up out of the bitch. Talking about you never take me alive. <laughs> what are you doing, she bitch? Crazy. Like, crazy. But you got her out of that. You going home? You not even <laughs> going upstairs. You just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Um, another time, um, bitch covered herself in shit. Damn, Cover why? Because nobody, she don't want nobody to touch her. Well, no, first of all, nobody crazy. gonna touch your ass. Apparently, you need to stay in your cell. You know what I'm saying? Wait, but you, people be in there. Listen, I and mean, I'm just gonna say this. Crazy. It's nobody. Look, look. You got in a few instances. You have people who are falsely locked up. You know what I'm saying? That, I'm not saying that don't happen. But for you bitches who know y'all guilty, you know what I'm saying? It's nobody fought you up in there. So these people gotta come to work and deal with your crazy ass all goddamn day. Nobody want to do this, you know. You don't cover yourself and shit. Ain't nobody say, "Hey, we finna come get." Ain't nobody. You ain't even did nothing to, to put eyes on you. You just done cover yourself and shit and stood in your door, asshole naked. Just you know, making your time hard. Just making your damn time hard. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.